your boy King Reptar here back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and if you guys already know the drill camera it's about to get a whole lot brighter because your boy is here and today we are going to be doing something that I have been looking forward for quite some time. I googled Jaws of Life and a lot of things came up but I found this thing right here. A lot of people call it the Jaws of Life is what its nickname is. It's nicknamed after the fireman's tool which is called the Jaws of Life and it is this device that literally is a chainsaw on one side and a hook on the other side that clamps down and cuts completely completely through whatever it is with a ridiculously strong chainsaw. If you guys have been here for a while, you might remember the Scizor in real life video I did a long time ago, which had something similar to this by a company called Alligator. What happened? Oh! We got the man himself. Perhaps, man. So we're gonna be doing, this one is way stronger. That one was a four inch blade. This one is a six inch blade. And it's also got twice the strength as far as the engine power goes. We're gonna be cutting a bunch of ridiculously insane stuff with this absolute monster slash titan of a device. Let's go ahead and get it open and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and pop this thing open and let's take a look. All right, here we go. Woo! <laughs> so this is it right, guys. Consider this like the ultimate scissors. Just <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, uh, like Clamps from Futurama. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should give him the Clamps, Clamps. Gee, you think? What we're gonna do is we have to get the battery in this thing and then we can try it out and see what it's about. All right, the magazine. You'd be dead so long ago. It's locked and loaded. <laughs> now I kill them all! Water Warfare 2 airport scene be like, <laughs> the battery is in there, let's give it a rev. All right, you hear it? You can hear it, right? Can you see it? Oh, <laughs> okay guys, inside of here is a six inch, this is the strongest one I've ever seen, a six inch chainsaw that clamps down. So basically we put our target in right there, clamp it down, and then it just goes away. It goes bye bye, it says night night. Okay, let's try it right now. Parker's gonna give me this stick. Well, let's see what happens, all right? Go ahead and just feed it in here. Go ahead and put it in the jaws, the jaws of life. Oh, you're having a lot of trouble getting in there, aren't you? Oh! Jesus. That was I thought so it wasn't working for a I know, I know, me too. I was so aggressive. Let's try it again, already? <laughs> My bracelet was killer. Dude, like scissors. Got a little thicker one. Let's oh, try let's this try one. a little thicker. Cutting just the tip. Woo! <laughs> it's able to cut the entire... I see something thicker. This thing is broken anyway. <laughs> Oh my, oh my god! god. <laughs> this is literally like a pair of scissors for real life. Oh, you know what? This table in a full piece. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, go to your backyard and find like the thickest handle you can find. I can assure you, it's about the same thickness. That was less than three seconds. That I, I'm, I'm literally, I'm shocked. This is ridiculous. Okay, so now let's move on to some different targets. Okay, so for our first target, we I didn't know if this was gonna fit inside the jaws, but I think it should be. We got the old, old villager himself, Quaker Oats. Yeah. <laughs> let's do it. Let's see if this fits. I'm gonna try and get it in the jaws first. Do it. Oh, dude, it barely fits. Three, two. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Keep going. That was so cool. Yeah, that's one way to open your oatmeal. This is the other. That's a lot drier that, than I thought it was gonna be. All right, now I'm gonna clean that off because I don't want it to get wet. Yeah, because that's when we get oatmeal. And nobody likes oatmeal. <laughs> All right, here we go. Next up, Pringles. Dang Just it. like me when I come in last in Fortnite. <laughs> gonna clamp it down, flip it over, and rip. rip. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Callie Jenner lip challenge be like, <laughs> All right, next up we're doing the Monte Polk and Corn. All right, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> what? What? It just filled it. They Dude, couldn't get a grip on. That was awesome. Okay, so the canned corn actually got destroyed after it peeled the label off. <laughs> but the thing is, because this is so smooth, the chain was having some trouble getting onto it. So we're gonna be done with this one. All right, this one I had to do because it's just the classic. It's the baseball right here. We all know how hard baseballs are. We've all wanted to see the inside of them before. I've seen it before. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> they get a better grip on it. Woo! 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 Let's do it! 
This. This is what the baseball is made out of. What even is that? Cork? Dude, I swear, this looks like a baseball is just filled with a bunch. I swear to God, all they did was go to my grandma's house, take all of her carpet. That's all. <laughs> this I was about to say, you took all of your grandma's lint. Like, okay, so the baseball did not work out the way I wanted it to because, like I said, all my grandma's carpet was clogging it. But we're going to be using the old Federer. What? Yeah, it's a tennis guy. My goal here with this one is I'm going to try and clamp down on it, but then also clamp down on that center ball. Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> Well, you did it. I did it. I failed in the ball test, but the good thing is the chainsaw it still works. Oh! <laughs> that was sick, dude. That was awesome. <laughs> the inside of that, not that interesting. All right, next target we have are all of these blowing bubbles, which are pretty cool if you ask me. All right. Are you ready to see the sickest thing you've ever seen? Um, yeah. I'm going to send a secret message in this bubble, okay? Hear it? Quack you. Well, that's just beam. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? I'd be like rocket fire. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the insult is so mean. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, 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 oh dude. God. Holy crap, dude. Here's the thing that's just so. But people buy it anyway. All right, next one up the pineapple itself. Three, two, one. SpongeBob, sorry to do this to you, but go ahead and say goodbye to your second floor. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that, that happened. Woo. Who needs a slice? Did anybody say they needed a slice? Oh, no one said they needed a slice? <laughs> okay, the next thing we're trying is just because I want to see a lot of colors. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be shoving inside of here and see if we can cut every single one. Three, two, one. Uh oh. That looks cool. <laughs> there you go. It's all out. I, like I was pulling someone's weave out. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you have a slightly smaller one that should be easier to handle. Let's see how this one works. <laughs> all right. To avoid splashage of this one, we're going to do it straight down. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Dude, I love the colors that come off of the blade, too. A chainsaw is definitely not supposed to be this wet or sticky. But remember, not an expert. All right. So right here, we got whipped cream. going to do a little casual bust. <laughs> <laughs> this is filled with compressed air. I don't know if this is probably the smartest thing to cut, but we're gonna try it. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay, well, it's kind of smooth, so it's not really staying there. It's just spinning ridiculously fast. All right, let's try it again. Try to put a little grip there. Let's find out. Damn it, that's just not the way I wanted it to be. Watch out. What the? <laughs> Well, well, that worked. <laughs> kind of. All right, next up is Strawberry Riptide and, and Blueberry Blast. No, it's not. It's called Spongeberry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Ooh. It's like nothing happened. But oh, oh, everything, everything did. Everything happened. Why, SpongeBob? <laughs> All right, guys. So for the next one, I'm going to be using my clamps to try and catch this moving one. We're going to be throwing a bottle of Coca-Cola soda. Go ahead and show them the bottle of Coca-Cola oh, soda. Oh, yeah, right. This is a bottle of Coca-Cola soda. <laughs> My goal here is to trying to clamp it in midair. Let's see what we can do here. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, oh my God! Where are you going? You get over here and you get changed. <laughs> oh, that was so devastating. Whoa. That tastes fantastic. <laughs> Someone's gonna edit that. <laughs> That's, that's probably true. I, I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of Instagram tags today. Okay guys, so next what I wanna do is I wanna cut the top, just the top of this Coca-Cola off, but I wanna shake it up first. All right, here oh, we go. Oh, that's enough. Ooh, that was that cool. enough? Yeah, no, that's, that's not. What was that? It wasn't enough. This is enough! Oh, my God, it's enough! This is enough, okay? It's not enough. That enough? No. Okay, shake it up, here we go, ready? Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> that didn't work! Here we go, try again! Alright, now let's try it again. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was awesome! Okay, moving on. Okay, this one wasn't planned, but I just want to see what will happen. What do, you, what do you think's gonna happen? I think it's probably gonna break. Three, <laughs> two, one. <laughs> okay, that was awesome. Alright, so what's the next day? And the battery went down on this. It actually doesn't last that long. But we wanted to cut a lot of satisfying stuff, but I wanted to test the limits on this thing. So right here I have the Brooklyn Crusher from the Crate Box video that was filmed very recently. Part right there, go check that video out if you haven't already. Let's see if this thing is capable of actually cutting the Brooklyn Smasher. This bat is known to be, well, it used to say unbreakable there, but uncowled assable. It's very uncowled assable, okay? So we're gonna try and see right now. Will it do it? 
All right, so this thing is really slippery. Parker's gonna hold it. I have no clue if it's gonna work, and I have no clue if I'm gonna cut Parker's hand off. We're gonna try our best to do both those things. What? Or actually, just one of those things. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully, it's on my hand. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh. Okay, okay, we got some. Holy oh, crap! My God. It's so slippery. This thing can't get a grip on it, but when it has a grip, it's done. <laughs> oh! No! Oh! It's doing it! Oh, you got it! Come on, come on, come on! You got this! Oh, come on! Come on! Oh, oh. <laughs> Did you hear a beeping? Yeah. <laughs> it just cut a Brooklyn Basher. Brooklyn Smasher, Brooklyn Cutie, Brooklyn Crusher. There's a lot of different numbers, okay? Damn. <laughs> now I just have a very, very cool unbreakable club. Yes. All right, guys. So if you guys enjoyed that video, make sure you guys check out this video right here, which is actually the whole video where we filmed the unbreakable bat. This thing was absolutely insane. Able to break concrete. You wouldn't believe the things this was able to break. So watch that video right there, guys. I'll see you over there. If you're new here, subscribe. Also check out my vlog channel. And as always, I'll see you beautiful people in the next video. Adios. Bloop.